If you've looked at your energy bill lately and thought it seems higher than usual, you're right. Yeah, coming out of a cold stretch this winter, San Diegans are paying more for gas and electric, nearly 25% more over last year, according to the Union Tribune. Joining us now to talk about the rising rates and the reason behind it, Executive Director of the Advocacy Group Utility Consumers Action Network, or UCAN, Ed Lopez. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me on. It's great to see you. So as we know, SDG&E has some of the highest rates in the country. How do we rank here in California and why is our rate so high? Well, unfortunately, there's not one single answer as to why. It's a culmination of a number of factors. And unfortunately, it's also a continuation of uh, a trend that's happening for a number of years. San Diego Gas and Electric customers have paid among the highest rates, not only in the state, but in the country for a number of years. There certainly are uh, national trends that affect gas prices, for example. There are programmatic costs. Uh, there's also programmatic overspending and mismanagement. And then there's perhaps not enough stringent regulatory review by the California Public Utilities Commission. Uh, and you caught my ear with those last two points that you made about mismanagement and not enough overview. When it comes to San Diego, and you had called us out as being one of the highest paying utility customers, even in the state, uh, are those last two issues a problem here? Well, you can believe so. To begin with, we certainly understand that there's been a number of programs mandated or authorized by the California Public Utilities Commission, the CPUC, and certainly they help the state meet its climate change goals. We want to electrify our system, for example. We'd like to incentivize uh, people to go out and get EVs and to he have EV charging stations available. So those programs certainly drive up costs customers ultimately pay for those programs. But in some cases, and UCAN was a party to a proceeding, uh, we found that the Power Your Dry program had overspent by $25 million. Now, when a program overspends, there will be a refund ultimately, but it's down the road. And we gotta manage and monitor to make sure that the correct refund comes back to the customers at SDG&E. About a year ago or so, SDG&E had to refund over $50 million on a, on a really failed light bulb exchange energy efficiency program. And in addition, they were fined over $5 million uh, for willfully filing uh, wrongful data. So we know programs uh, can serve uh, noble go goals, but there are costs, and we wanna make sure they're reasonable costs even from the very beginning. I know you're pointing to some problems with the way SDG&E may be spending ratepayer dollars. They point to natural gas costs going up as well as wildfire mitigation being expensive. Ultimately, what recourse do customers have? Well, it's a challenging situation. You can always, always uh, touts that customers should first and foremost be informed and educated. In an individual context, be aware of the rates and, and what you're seeing and the amount and the usage on your bill. Now, there are programs available that customers can take advantage of. Keep in mind, within the last few years, the utilities, including SDG&E, have transitioned just about all customers to a new tariff rate, time of use. So customers need to be very mindful that the most expensive time to use energy is 4 to 9 p.m. Ed, we very much appreciate the efforts of you, Ken. Keep up the good fight, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having us.